In atomic physics, the spin quantum number is a quantum number that parameterizes the intrinsic angular momentum of a given particle. The spin quantum number is the fourth of a set of quantum numbers, which describe the unique quantum state of an electron and is designated by the letter s. It describes the energy, shape and orientation of orbitals derivation. As a solution for a certain partial differential equation, the quantized angular momentum can be written as, whereas the quantized spin vector is the norm of the spin vector is the spin quantum number associated with the spin angular momentum is the reduced Planck constant. Given an arbitrary direction z the spin z projection is given by where ms is the secondary spin quantum number, ranging from minus s to plus s in steps of 1. This generates 2s plus 1 different values of ms. The allowed values for s are non-negative integers or half integers. Fermions have half integer values whereas bosons have integer spin values. Algebra the algebraic theory of spin is a carbon copy of the angular momentum in quantum mechanics theory. First of all, spin satisfies the fundamental commutation relation, where epsilon lmn is the Levi Civita symbol. This means that it is impossible to know two coordinates of the spin at the same time because of the restriction of the uncertainty principle. Next, the eigenvectors of and satisfy, where are the creation and annihilation operators. Electron spin. Early attempts to explain the behavior of electrons in atoms focused on solving the Schrödinger wave equation for the hydrogen atom. The simplest possible case, with a single electron bound to the atomic nucleus. This was successful in explaining many features of atomic spectra. The solutions required each possible state of the electron to be described by three quantum numbers. These were identified as, respectively, the electron shell number n, the orbital number l, and the orbital angular momentum number m. Angular momentum is a so-called classical concept measuring the momentum of a mass in circular motion about a point. The shell numbers start at 1 and increase indefinitely. Each shell of number n contains n squared orbitals. Each orbital is characterized by its number L, where L takes integer values from 0 to n minus 1, and its angular momentum number M, where M takes integer values from plus L to minus L, by means of a variety of approximations and extensions. Physicists were able to extend their work on hydrogen to more complex atoms containing many electrons. Atomic spectra are measure radiation absorbed or emitted by electrons jumping from one state to another, where a state is represented by values of n, l, and m. The so-called transition rule limits what jumps are possible. In general, a jump or transition is allowed only if all three numbers change in the process. This is because a transition will be able to cause the emission or absorption of electromagnetic radiation only if it involves a change in the electromagnetic dipole of the atom. However, it was recognized in the early years of quantum mechanics that atomic spectra are measured in an external magnetic field cannot be predicted with just n, l, and m. A solution to this problem was suggested in early 1925 by George Ulenbeck and Samuel Goldsmith, students of Paul Ehrenfest, and independently by Ralph Kronig, one of Landay's assistants. Ulenbeck, Goldsmith, and Kronig introduced the idea of the self-rotation of the electron, which would naturally give rise to an angular momentum vector in addition to the one associated with the orbital motion. The spin angular momentum is characterized by a quantum number, s equals one half specifically for electrons. In a way analogous to other quantized angular momenta, l, it is possible to obtain an expression for the total spin angular momentum, where is the reduced Planck constant. The hydrogen spectra of fine structure is observed as a doublet corresponding to two possibilities for the z component of the angular momentum. 
where for any given direction z, whose solution has only two possible z components for the electron. In the electron, the two different spin orientations are sometimes called spin up or spin down. The spin property of an electron would give rise to magnetic moment, which was a requisite for the fourth quantum number. The electron spin magnetic moment is given by the formula, where E is the charge of the electron G is the land A G factor and by the equation, where is the Bohr magneton. When atoms have even numbers of electrons the spin of each electron in each orbital has opposing orientation to that of its immediate neighbor. However, many atoms have an odd number of electrons or an arrangement of electrons in which there is an unequal number of spin up and spin down orientations. These atoms or electrons are said to have unpaired spins that are detected in electron spin resonance. Detection of spin When lines of the hydrogen spectrum are examined at very high resolution, they are found to be closely spaced doublets. This splitting is called fine structure, and was one of the first experimental evidences for electron spin. The direct observation of the electron's intrinsic angular momentum was achieved in the stern gerlach experiment. The stern gerlach experiment The theory of spatial quantization of the spin moment of the momentum of electrons of atoms situated in the magnetic field needed to be proved experimentally. In 1920 Otto Stern and Walter Gerlach observed it in the experiment they conducted. Silver atoms were evaporated using an electric furnace in a vacuum, using thin slits. The atoms were guided into a flat beam and the beam sent through an inhomogeneous magnetic field before colliding with a metallic plate. The laws of classical physics predict that the collection of condensed silver atoms on the plate should form a thin solid line in the same shape as the original beam. However, the inhomogeneous magnetic field caused the beam to split in two separate directions, creating two lines on the metallic plate. The phenomenon can be explained with the spatial quantization of the spin moment of momentum. In atoms the electrons are paired such that one spins upward and one downward, neutralizing the effect of their spin on the action of the atom as a whole. But in the valence shell of silver atoms, there is a single electron whose spin remains unbalanced. The unbalanced spin creates spin magnetic moment, making the electron act like a very small magnet. As the atoms pass through the inhomogeneous magnetic field, the force moment in the magnetic field influences the electron's dipole until its position matches the direction of the stronger field. The atom would then be pulled toward or away from the stronger magnetic field a specific amount, depending on the value of the valence electron's spin. When the spin of the electron is plus one half the atom moves away from the stronger field, and when the spin is minus one half the atom moves toward it. Thus the beam of silver atoms is split while traveling through the inhomogeneous magnetic field, according to the spin of each atom's valence electron. In 1927 Phipps and Taylor conducted a similar experiment, using atoms of hydrogen with similar results. Later scientists conducted experiments using other atoms that have only one electron in their valence shell. Every time their two lines formed on the metallic plate, the atomic nucleus also may have spin, but protons and neutrons are much heavier than electrons, and the magnetic dipole moment is inversely proportional to the mass. So the nuclear magnetic dipole momentum is much smaller than that of the whole atom. This small magnetic dipole was later measured by Stern, Frisch and Easterman. Energy levels from the Dirac equation In 1928, Paul Dirac developed a relativistic wave equation now termed the Dirac equation, which predicted the spin magnetic moment correctly and at the same time treated the electron as a point-like particle. Solving the Dirac equation for the energy levels of electron the hydrogen atom, all four quantum numbers including s occurred naturally and agreed well with experiment. Total spin of an atom or molecule For some atoms the spins of several unpaired electrons are coupled to form a total spin quantum number s. 
This occurs especially in light atoms when spin-orbit coupling is weak compared to the coupling between spins or the coupling between orbital angular momenta, a situation known as LS coupling because L and S are constants of motion. Here L is the total orbital angular momentum quantum number. For atoms with a well-defined S, the multiplicity of a state is defined as this is equal to the number of different possible values of the total angular momentum j for a given combination, provided that SL, for example, if S equals 1, there are three states which form a triplet. The eigenvalues of S said for these three states are plus 1H, 0 and 1H. The term symbol of an atomic state indicates its values of L, S, and J. 